Jeez. If you're trying to figure out what briefcase or bag you need to buy, stick with us because I have done some exhaustive research on which one might be right for you. Hey guys, welcome back. Another Thursday and today I really wanted to dive into something that took me a while to figure out on my own. Hopefully I can save you a little bit of time and that is what do I use for a work bag for a briefcase? The idea of a briefcase has really gone through a lot of changes. Back in the day it was an attache, a hard-sided brick thing that you saw lawyers carrying and those have really all but gone out of style and really are kind of like a dinosaur these days and there's so many different options. So if you remember last year I did a whole bunch of reviews on bags and I, I really dove into this thing saying I'm gonna figure out what the difference between these bags are, what makes a good bag, what makes a crappy bag, what's overpriced and it was very in-depth and I did a lot of research, talked to a lot of people, visited people who were making bags. So I feel that I have enough of a background to speak to this with a good degree of an education behind me. So if you're like most men, you are carrying your laptop in the bag that it came with. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's the cheapest option. It, however, is generally not the most stylish option, nor is it the most useful option. So something like this, you could carry around your laptop in a couple of papers, some pens, and you're good to go. It'll work just fine. But what if you need to carry around more? Or what if you want to use it for other things besides your laptop? These are generally very, very thin. They're only meant to carry your laptop. So what if you need to carry more? Well, the first review I ever did about a bag was this one here. Now, this is the Baccini Bassini. It was available on Amazon for a pretty decent price. It's made of pull-up leather. Uh, there's not really a lot of information about it. It won't last forever. This is not a heritage heirloom bag, but it does come in under 100 bucks. This is a very old review, by the way, so if you do click on it, please excuse the quality. Working our way up the food chain a little bit is this here. This is a messenger bag by Bassador, a Bassader, uh, however you want to pronounce it. This is a handmade item. Elon makes some incredible bags. There are some available on their website, but she also makes them to order, made out of uh, chrome tanned leather, but it's unlined. This is considered a messenger bag. A messenger bag generally has a flap. Sometimes it's secured, sometimes it isn't. This one is not. Inside there are some compartments, enough to carry around your stuff without a problem. This is an excellent bag, absolutely beautiful, will last you your lifetime. And if you like this aesthetic, this minimalist aesthetic, well, then this is probably the bag that you should get. Now, if what you like is a little bit more masculine, a little bit more rugged, don't go running straight to Saddleback, although they do make a nice product. I believe that they are overpriced for what you're getting. So the best alternative that I've been able to find is a company called Marlando Leather. This is the Marlando Leather thin briefcase. Now, actually, it's been redesigned since this one here, but this is a beefy, rugged, and very, very masculine bag. This right here will stand up to, I think, an atom bomb. It's made out of very, very thick chrome tanned leather. They use brass rivets. They use stainless steel. It, it's, it's, a, it's a beast. There is no doubt about it. This thing is an absolute beast. And it weighs quite a bit on its own because you have a lot of things. You have a lot of places to lash it down and, and you can turn it into a backpack. It's just, it's beefy. And if that's what you like, well, then maybe Marlando is what you're after. So another really cool option is the satchel, and I got approached by a company called Ruiter Tassin a while ago to review one of their satchels. This is called the Professor Heritage Satchel, and this is another beefy bag. It has a lot of, a lot of compartments in it, a lot of storage space made beautifully. This is vegetable tan leather, which is again up the scale a little bit more, and they have a they have an aesthetic which is masculine, especially with this finish on it, but not in your face as much. And it's just meant for work. Although it's pretty big, it's really not all that heavy. And one of the reasons is, is because on the inside they chose to use nylon and a combination of leathers. Uh, it's really meant to be used. This is not a showpiece, although it's absolutely beautiful and will last you a lifetime. This is meant to be used without a doubt. It has a lot of very thoughtful areas. A padded spot here for your laptop or tablet. Um, just tons and tons of storage these front compartments this is a really cool option made in Belgium and this is a real heritage piece over there they actually use the same tannery that Louis Vuitton uses for their leather they've been around for over a hundred years they make bags for professionals they call these career bags these are meant to be used and someday passed down I'm a big fan of this company this is something you can invest in and you'll have for a long long time 
Now, all bags don't have to be leather to be good quality. If you're somebody who's vegan or if you just don't believe in using animal products, I'm right there with you. And for that purpose, there's a company called Eberly Stock, and they are not well known in the briefcase world at all. This here is an Eberly Stock briefcase, and it has a messenger style where it has the front flap much more military looking, even the color kind of screams uh, military. But this briefcase here has a little bit of a secret. This has a concealed compartment for a firearm, right there, held together by some magnets in the seam where you would never think to look is a big old compartment shaped like a triangle for a pistol. And if you're not into carrying, I totally understand, but if you are and you're somebody who doesn't want to carry it on your person, this is a really cool option. This is the combat office from Eberly Stock. Jim Eberly was a, uh, an Olympian who developed some very lightweight gear. This is super duper lightweight. So this is a really cool option for those of you who may not want a leather bag. Okay, so we've covered a lot of ground, all the way from the stock nylon bag that comes with your laptop to the six or $700 Heritage heirloom bag that you'll have forever. They're all great options. I would not hesitate to recommend any of these brands to people who were looking for them. The thing is though, how much storage do you need? What's the aesthetic that you want? What do you want it to be made out of? Do you want chrome tan leather? Is that fine? Do you want vegetable tan leather, a step above? Do you want nylon? Uh, how big of a bag do you want to carry? How big is your laptop? All these things need to be considered. But what if you're somebody who doesn't carry a laptop to work? What if you just want something for EDC? Well, something like this might be right up your alley. This here I reviewed a while ago, and it's probably the most used bag that I have. I carry this thing all the time. This is my go-to carry-on for an airplane, for a day trip. This is the Nutsack Satchel Pro. This is the perfect size for something you may need to take with you on a day trip because you can leave, you can keep all your stuff in there, your sunglasses, your lip balm, whatever you got, your keys, and if you pick anything up along the way, you can throw it in there and bring it back with you. What I like about it too is that it has the ability to really be stuffed full and you can jam it with stuff. You could stick your whole camera in there. I've done it many times and bring it places or fold it flat and it gets to be like a pancake. This is, I believe, around $125, but it's been worth its weight in gold to me. I use it all the time. If these two giants right here are too much for what you need on a day-to-day -day basis, this is the perfect option. So there you go, a bunch of different options depending on what your needs are, your storage space, and what the look that you're going for is. These are all great bags. I will be listing them in the description below and I'll try to provide a link to the exact model that these are right here. You really can't go wrong with any of the ones that I've covered today. There are plenty of other really great bags out there too. Make sure you do your research, go online and pick out something that you're gonna have for life. I'm Carl with New England Style Consulting. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you next Thursday.